uh, one of the other big things uh, with uh, Epic um, is the inclusion of a media store, so Samsung's Media Hub. And we've got an example here. Uh, basic me Media is Hub. Is that up in the live right now? Because it's not for the other Galaxy S's. Yeah, it's, uh, this is actually um, a beta load. Um, when we launch the device, we'll launch Media Hub shortly after the device itself okay. launches. Is that handled by Sprint or is that handled by Samsung? It's Samsung. So I think the way to think about this is, um, don't think about it necessarily in the context of just a device. Certainly Samsung wants to um, establish a Media Hub for all their other products as well too. Gotcha. And what they've told us at least is that um, um, I'll be able to purchase media so I can purchase movies. Click here. Um, and search, you know, a catalog um, basically like you would, you know, um, you know any other movie store. Um, uh, TV shows as well too. Just showing some example content here. Um, and I'll be able to download this content and I'll be able to license this content on up to five devices. So basically I'll register up to five devices. So it could be a phone, it could be a uh, Samsung TV, it could be a Blu-ray player, it could be a laptop, yep. Yeah. And I'll be able to view the contents um, if I purchased it and license those devices, I'll be able to watch it basically anywhere I'm at. So. And do, do they expire? Um, you can purchase, so there's uh, a couple different models. There's uh, there's actually a... Um, a rent and a, a purchase model? Yeah, there's a rent and a purchase model. I think the rent model is either a 24-hour or 48-hour um, model. Let's see, we'll just go in. And again, this is kind of... Um, um, uh, I wouldn't say it's bogus content, but it's, it's kind of uh, example content, basically. So um, I could watch the preview, I could own it, or I could rent it for 24 hours. And I'm not positive that 24 hours is the... Um, um, the time it's either 24 or 48 hours I think it is 24 hours gotcha. so if I'm in uh, 4G or in Wi-Fi um, I would actually be able to watch the content I think other carriers um, are only going to allow the, um, the viewing of content in, wi in Wi-Fi yeah so that's certainly an exam uh, um, an advantage that Sprint has over other Galaxy S devices um, the other thing is kind of compelling once I've purchased it um, I can purchase and I can view. Tra I, uh, I can purchase and I can do kind of account management um, on 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi. Um, I start downloading on 4G or Wi-Fi. Um, once I start downloading, um, it'll actually um, start downloading and I can start playing it immediately, um, and it will continue to download in the background while I'm watching. I can download multiple movies as well too, and it basically, like in Android, it'll just kind of give you status in the. Uh, in the panel. Can you rotate it horizontally? Yeah. And does it recognize it? Should. Oh, okay. That display is pretty amazing. Huh? Yeah. So well, while we're talking about content, maybe what we'll do is we'll go out to the media viewer. You're going to talk about the front facing camera too? Yeah. Um, let me just show real quick. Now, is that the content, is that DRM free or is it locked to Samsung? Uh, I, the movie store is going to have DRM okay. attached to it, so it will play on any device that's registered. So this is just a MPEG-4 or something that we've downloaded of Avatar to kind of show the experience. It's just an amazing experience. Yeah. This could be like the next fourth screen or something. Yeah.